heather loading up the bus. And you can see the mountains up behind. And we're having a cup of tea in here. <coughs> this is Costa Coffee Pokola. <laughs> this is the scenery. Sammy Spider beating the local children. Spider. <laughs> That's where we're going to have lunch. I'm not trying to make you dizzy. Here's the view to match for a check. There's our cooks. We're setting up at the end there. And here's the grudgy magic class. Yeah. And now we've taught the local children how to play Uno. <laughs> Is that good? Down right down in the valley, that's a village that I zoomed in on earlier from a long way away. And down here we've got this village that we came through before we climbed up here. And right down here is the village volleyball pitch up to our campsite on the ridge because it drops right down to this big valley the other side. All facilities. It's the first morning and Rick just having a bed tea. <laughs> Here's the view out of the tent. There's the fish tail. The sun on it. Are you filming? I'm filming breakfast. And there's three bags. So that's, we reckon they're 10 kilograms each, and he's got a bit on there, so he's got 30, 35 kilograms. And that's, we had a hut for the kitchen last night. It was a good campsite. Oh, he's got his chairs organised, and he's just got to get up. That man was doing single leg squats and ups this morning while we were getting washed. <laughs> and there's David and Rachel. And he's just got to carry those taking chairs up there. For four hours. And then he's over the top. Yeah, well. Here comes, here comes the drop, kitchen. They go a long way. Yeah, probably dropped. So we've just broken camp. There's John C. Groening Grudge and Ming Ma and Milan. So it's been a long climb up. We were going to climb for about 50. I hope you don't leave it and then it's all upstairs like this the whole way. This is Forest Camp and this is where we had our second lunch. 
The people who come up from the village to sell drinks to the porters. That's the other trek from Belgium. And they're going to sleep here at the night. And yeah, we're moving on. Which we're quite pleased about because it's not the greatest camp. Three hours climbing and an hour through the woods and now three hours this afternoon. So this is a really welcome sight. There's the village of Perji behind. And it's trying to rain actually. But up there you can just see some mountains. So in the morning we might have a good view from our campsite, which looks like a football pitch. But the village has come to join me. Yeah, I can't really see that. That's the front row of about six or seven. Campsite number two in the morning. That's where we came over yesterday. So we're down at 6,000 feet. That was the pass at 9,000 feet. And we swing around a bit more. And we're going to get covered in the sun, but you can see. The sun on the high mountains. Around our uh, breakfast table. This one's just unpacking. Here we are in Cyclis. Still see the mountains up above. And today is voting day. So this must be the way to vote, I think. Pop the way to get to vote. So that's Lamdrung and Annapurna too. And here's the village. Everybody dropped down quite a way. So this is where we're headed down to the river. We're resting in the shade because it's hot. And the steps since our last stop, because I'm the sad git that counted them. Yeah, <laughs> not a good idea. Time yesterday, we were climbing up towards there. So here we are in the local schoolroom. Yeah. And this is where we had our lunch. It's a school holiday because it's election day.
There's Graham trying to get to hand in our trucking permits and we pay 2,000 rupees to come into the Annapurna conservation area. At the moment some government official is checking our permits. There's Mingma Asada, which is coming. In a path. And we come to this overhanging cliff. Okay, now it's turned into a beach holiday. Here's our campsite. And here's the river. We're walking along the river, we've come from over there. And we've actually come to a road of sorts. There have been two vehicles on it. And just down there is where they had to get the ballot boxes to last night in the dark so that they could drive to Poco from here. And then like this house here, we're having a stop in the rest, in the rest in the shade. This could be because of the lack of knowledge, yeah. so that even the doctor advised uh, to bring them in a week or two, three days. Maybe the parents didn't get any time to, come to take them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walk along sort of old road. It's a bit hot and dusty. This was a very welcome sight. So here's our final campsite. Up there. A uh, good old toilet tent, which got blown down in the storm and has just been put up again. And here's our portos. The table. There's the cook. There's Milan. There's Mingma. He carries kitchen stuff, but isn't really a kitchen porter. He's the man who owns the campsite. And here he carries bags. And he's a kitchen porter. So here we are back where we started. And they're drying all the tents in the sun. There's our lunch being cooked there. And there's buses and there's more trekkers are coming in. The easy option and come up by truck to Sound and Cot. We've got to walk the last bit, but we've having a look at the view. It's partly in cloud. 
And end. You can apparently 80 euros, Rachel, just asked someone, so that's... How much is that? 80 euros is about 65 pounds, isn't it? But it's a bargain probably compared to European prices. Yeah. And I'm trying to get the electricity wires out of the shot. Down here is Pokhara, the lake. And I'm going into the position of our hotel. What is it? Jonty, you're in charge of taking some pictures. Jonty, you're in charge of pictures. Come on. Take it easy. Sorry, Master. He's going with David. Okay, so this is the Chitwin Jungle Lodge, this is where we're staying. Let's go and have a look at the room, Nancy. Okay. Got this. Not in not room. Room. Now it is. Now it is. Okay, so we're going to look in our room. Okay. It's home from home. <laughs> 